dear students welcomes to all of you in my youtube channels uh, in this lecture series we will start the subject design of reinforced concrete structure in that first we will cover our fifth module it is nothing but earthquake resistance building and analysis so today in this first lectures we will discuss about earthquake resistance building and what is earthquake how its effect on building what is the epicenter what is the focus point that all should be covered in this lecture 1 series of module 5 i professor prashant bhua dr subhash technical campus junagadh so all of you uh, know that the effect of earthquake we all are Uh, the victim of earthquake in 2001 it should be create more effect on building as well as uh, fecal death of uh, lots of people so after the earthquake is occur in 2001 lots of changes are done in our is 800 as well as is 13920 for ductile detailing as well as earthquake related codes so uh, what are the earthquake that are no very well being as a civil engineer so we can provide earthquake resisting design to our buildings as well as element to resist the earthquake force so uh, we start with the very uh, primary thing what are the earthquakes so the shaking of trembling caused by the sudden release of energy it creates the earthquake usually associated with faulting or breaking of two rocks or the different plates continue adjustment of this position result in done by the after shock so as per the earthquake research lab uh, criteria at major earthquake it's occurred after lots of after shock to continue the adjustment of this position so uh, behind that what is the elastic rebound theory that should be a main reason to create or to develop the earthquake causes so explain how energy is stored in a rock so you can see in a four image of elastic rebound theory so rock bend until the strength of the rock is exist ruptures occur and the rocks quickly rebound to then undeformed shape energy is released in a wave that radiate out of the fault line so uh, now i zoom this all figure first one it's our origin position now that energy should be stored up to the rock strength is available then it start to the deformation you can see the direction of deformation at that time of deformation one point should be capture or the fault line should be act you can see in our third figure is nothing but rupture of releasing the energy now rock should be releasing the energy and it should be created by radial form up to the building and last rock rebound to the original undeformed shape after the releasing the energy rock should be deform undeformed shape so while the energy should be released you can see the first image and the fourth one image both the rock position are different and you can see the fault line at that time that deformation should be done so in this basic principle of elastic rebound theory earthquakes affect on building by rupturing the difference wave and obstruct to the building next we will discuss after the elastic rebound theory what is focus and epicenter of earthquake so the point within the earth where faulting being the focus or hypocenter is called the focus point and the point directly above the focus on the surface is called epicenter so uh, you kept in mind or noted down focus and epicenter both are different phenomena while you have to explain the earthquake now we more elaborate with this image you can see in our first theorem uh, one create a fault line between these two rock you can see that image and wave form should be 
generated. At that, when focus the point R, you can see in image. After the very vertical, you have to go through the focus line, you can see uh, located the epicenter. So focus maybe varies in a uh, underground situation at that up to the vertical part when the earth surface is touch is called epicenter. So generally focus and epicenter are two different things. When the focus depth is very high, then your earthquake resistance building uh, should be created more and more effect. So when the focal depth is uh, very depth in a uh, ground, then it should be a, a minor effect of earthquake. When focal depth nearer to the our earth surface, it creates the damage to all building as well as rock. Now, where do the earthquakes occur and how it's often? So the 80% of earthquake occurs in circumstances of our Pacific belt. So we know that we are the seven uh, plate tectonics or you can say the belt at the different uh, location all over the uh, world. So most of this result from conversation and merging activity. So these plates are different settlement and that's why the earthquake should be occurs. So 80% of case due to this unsettlement of the different plates are occur. Remaining 15 occurs, occurs is Mediterranean of Asiatic belt. So 50% only uh, it should be noted in Asiatic belts while in 80% should be in Pacific belt. Remaining 5% occur in interior or plates when the spreading the rigid center and more than 1 lakh 15,000 earthquakes strong enough to bear to be felt are recorded each year. So it should be a very uh, uh, high numbers when the earthquake shocks are recorded throughout the India uh, in particular year wise. So you can see the different uh, plate position in that you can see the red line nearer to the, the position is nothing but our Pacific belt and minor it should be a Asiatic belt. So most of case the Pacific belt should be recorded 85% of uh, this earthquake. So you can see that our part of India, the new fault line should be act nearer to the Delhi to Himachal Pradesh. So in recently we can say as per the research criteria, our new fault line in our India should be activated on Delhi to Himachal Pradesh. So now the economy and social impact of earthquake. What are the uh, earthquake effect on uh, socially and economy? So of course the building should be collapsed and sometimes it should be create a fire problem. If the earthquake or focus should be located in sea, it creates the tsunami and most of case and severe earthquake, it should be a failure of ground. So in all four condition, our social and economy impacts are affect on people by direct or indirectly. So what is the seismic waves? So response of the material to the arrival to the energy front released by the rapture is nothing but our seismic wave. Response of material to the arrival of energy fronts released by the rapture. So this seismic waves directly affect the severity of earthquake. So basically two types of seismic wave we can classify. First one is body waves. It should be transfer internal body of our uh, material or you can say the rocks. And second one is surface wave. So again bodies waves there are the two types P waves and S waves. And surface waves there are again two types R waves and L waves. So how is the earthquake epicenter should be located? So the seismic wave behavior we know that P waves arrive first and the S waves then L and R. So most of this case L and R are surface waves so it's arrived after the body's wave P and S. So the average speed of all this wave we know that. After an earthquake the different arrival times versus seismograph station can be used to calculate distance from seismograph to epicenter. The basically phenomena to locate at the epicenter it becomes of traveling time of uh, seismic wave versus seismograph that located on uh, epicenter with different kind of P waves, S waves, L and R. So in 
four types of wave all are different uh, speed uh, due to affecting on rocks so it depends on which type of rocks that epicenter should be located either it should be a black cotton soil or rocky uh, strata or muram strata so both the speed uh, depending on the rock strata it should be varies how it's the earthquake epicenter located so uh, i will describe in a uh, previous slide it should be depend on this uh, p waves s waves r and l further away the seismograph we will study it in detail how seismograph should be work and what should be the minimum area or covered area of one seismograph to locate at epicenter now how it's the earthquake epicenter should be located so there is the seismograph dasher are needed to locate the epicenter of earthquake a circle where the radius of equal distance of epicenter is draw in this image the interaction of this circle is located at epicenter so as i tell if we found the past uh, recorded earthquake we located that this zone are in uh, zone number 5 so it's very severe zone so provide in different uh, location we provide the station of seismograph and after that the recording time one circle should be draw all circle should be interact at that point you can see in this Im image is called our epicenter so it's directly affected the three criteria one our location of seismograph second our body's waves and third one the uh, surface wave and that speed of body wave and surface wave travel to the, the releasing energy of earthquakes so how are the size and strength of earthquake measure so the intensity subjective measurement of the kind of damage done or people reaction to it it's covered in intensity so the lines identify here equal to the intensity modify mercury intensity map or you can say mim so 1994 north bridge ca earthquake magnitude 6.7 here one magnitude is given and second one we measure intensity so there are the two uh, scale we can measure the earthquake intensity and magnitude magnitude is depend on modify mercury intensity and intensity should be a measure on uh, damage of buildings and people react on it so now how are the size and strength of an earthquake measure so the magnitude is i sell richer scale measure total amount of energy released by the earthquake and it depends on the intensity so the amplitude of the large wave produced by an event is corrected for the distance and assign a value of open ended logarithm scale and on that scale we decide the research scale or you can say the magnitude of earthquake like 6.7 6 7.7 it nothing but our magnitude of earthquake now what are the destructive effects on earthquake so uh, ground shaking first of all one i will describe about the ground shaking is very severe effect on uh, earthquake should be occur so the amplitude duration and damage increase in poorly consolidated rock now in this image i will describe four uh, different state on uh, rock you can identify first one is bed rock second one is well consolidated sedimented rock third one is poorly consolidated sedimented rock and fourth one is uh, water saturated so, or you can say the uh, water bounded or uh, sea or any lake so now the seismic wave should be transfer you can see that uh, effect of seismic wave in bed rock it should be a uh, nearly to the straight line after wet consolidate that magnitude should be change poorly consolidated the magnitude should be change after when the saturated points are there that magnitude should be high same way if our buildings are located under bed rock there are the minor effect you can see in our building but our building or structure are located in when consolidated or poorly consolidated soil or you can say the mud when saturation point it should be active there are the severe effects on building that pass through the arrival of this wave and also you can see that effect of magnitude so generally uh, we have to try 
that our founder said uh, should be bedrock. That's why we uh, consolidated and fill the uh, hard rocks and uh, settle down to the up to the bed state. So can earthquake should be predicted? The most and effective question. Can earthquake be predicted? So the earthquake prediction change in the elevation of tilting of large surface, fluctuating the groundwater levels, magnetic field, electric resistance of ground, seismic distancical model and seismic gaps. We cannot perfectly predict the earthquake, but we found some changes due to the earthquake should be occur. Uh, the rational method before we uh, not introducing the digital seismograph at that time we bore uh, one ground and put at the tube well on this bore and one string should be attached with the magnet and it should be fill that bore when the ground should be shake that bearing should be indicated that shaking should be done but nowadays very digitalized equipment are available that cause or significant effect of earthquake so that after the ground shake in a minor form we of course predicted and we uh, get the severe effect negligible of building when we perfectly predicted so can earthquake be, be predicted earthquake prediction program including the laboratories and field study of rock behavior during and after earthquake we can try to predict it also the monitoring the activity along the major fault line produce the risk assessment on different located of fault line on uh, this four way we can predict the earthquake or try to predict what should be the, our next fault line and how it should be active so can earthquake should be controlled now next question if we can uh, earthquake should be predicted so of course uh, can earthquake should be controlled so graph show the relation between the amount of waste injected into the wells per month amount and the average number of d ones earthquake per month some have suggest that the pumping fluids into the seismic game will cause small earthquake while prevailing the large one so now you can see this graph the average number of d1 earthquake per month and in vertical you can see the number of earthquake 0 10 20 30 50 this is the average graph now we provide the maximum injected pressure 5 5 50 and injected by gravity flow maximum injection pressure 1050 ibs no waste injected so there are the three state and you can see the notice state at 1962 to 1965 the million of gradients fluids should be varies so these are the uh, phenomena at that past recorded we studied that and based on this recorded and the uh, behavior of our fault line or rupture of rock we can uh, control somehow and due to this controlling of earthquake also we changes in our design methodology uh, at day to day uh, routine life of our construction and also we analyze the earthquake resisting design so next after the controlling what is the cause of earthquakes so the earth and interiors we before know the earthquake we must be know about what is the earth interiors so long time ago the large collection of materials masses coal set or from the earth large amount of heat was generated by these fusions and slowly the earth cooled down the heavier and denser materials sank to the center of the lighter ones rose on the top so the differentiated of earth consists in intercore it means roughly the radius of intercore is 1290 kilometer the outer cores having thickness 2200 kilometer and the metal core thickness 2900 kilometer so the crust thickness is crust means nothing but our uh, surface uh, thinner surface of our earth it should be thickness belt of 5 to 40 kilometer so next figure we have to show this uh, different layer but the inner core is solid and the consist of heavy metal the inner core are very solid because you have 
uh, filled with the metals like nickel and iron, while the crust consists of light material like basa uh, basalt and granites. The outer coat has liquid and hits a severe effect, while the two plates or two rock are different adjustment and creates the earthquakes. So the outer core, the liquid is from and metal has ability to flow. At the core, the temperature of estimated uh, 2500 Celsius and pressure should be 4 million atmosphere and density of 13.5 gram per cc. This is the contrast of 25 degree Celsius one atmosphere and 1.5 gram per cc on the surface of earthquake. So it should be a very uh, high temperature and that's why the intercore metal should be start to melting and uh, sometimes it should be create lava also. So in our some region that uh, melting point are very high due to this uh, natural time period and that's why lava should be affected. After that the cooling of material it adjustment to different plate and now it's the reason of create the earthquake. Now we can see that uh, inside of earth, I will uh, see that inner core, outer core, metal and crust. Crust is nothing but at that time, we provide the foundation of our building. Below that, the metal part are there. In that outer core and last one or inner one is our inner core of earth. You can see that thickness of this different uh, core condition that I explained. The surface uh, or crush point is very uh, minor thickness, it's near about 10 to 40 kilometers. After that, atmospheric, it should be 100 kilometer. The mesosphere and hot but stronger due to the high pressure is starting from 100 to up to 350 uh, kilometers. So it's very effect. While we go for nearer about the intercourt, the temperature should be high and it should be a starting to the melting point. So uh, this different circulations are convergent in the different boundary of our layer. So the convection current, current development is viscous metal because of prevailing the high temperature and the pressure gradient between crust and core. Like con uh, connectivity flow of water when the heated is breaker. The energy of above circulation is diverting from heat produced from inset decay of elements in rock throughout the earth interiors and hence the convection current result circulation of the earth mass and then under the high temperature of pressure becomes the part of metal only comes out again the another location. So many such local circulation are taking place in different region undergo the earth surface. The leading to different positions or portion of earth undergoing the different direction of movement along the surface. So it depends on the width theta that should be create this different arrangement or you can there's a circulation of different pressure of temperature gradient. We can see in our figure local conversion currents in the metal. So now that intercode the temperature should be high metal should be start to melting and it's try to the uh, converse or conversion in different state so you can see that the different layer conversion uh, sign you can see the green sign it should be uh, outer to the different two plots so the red sign indicate the lava should be melted and it should be try to conversion in different brown layer so this melting should be outside on the crust and now it's create to the uh, effect of earthquakes. Now plate tectonics. And I say that the different plate tectonics uh, plates are distributed throughout the uh, world and it should be uh, the effect of main reason to uh, create the earthquakes. So the conservative flow of metal materials causes the crust and some portion of the metal. The slide on the hot molten outer core. The sliding of earth mass take place in the this is called tectonic plates. Now, what is the tectonic plates? So, the sliding of earth mass take place in pieces called tectonic plates. So, the surface of earth consists of seven major tectonic plates, many smaller ones. 
these plates move in different direction and different speed because in all the plates having the different stata so those the neighborhood ones some one the plate is front is slower then some plate behind comes into the collide like mountain or frame on the other hand sometimes two plate have move away from the one other the rifts or create in other case the two plate may side by side along the same direction or opposite direction so these three types of interplate interaction are convergent divergent transformer in the different boundary so mainly three types we have uh, described below the this plate tectonics effect one is convergent divergent and transformer boundary we will see in our next image what is that uh, different boundary layers so the convergent boundary has a like the himalaya that sometimes neither of uh, colding plates wants to the sink the relative moment of this plate boundary varies across the earth on the average it is of the order of couple to the tens of centimeter per year so uh, suppose one plate should be located uh, located below the himalayas and near about uh, the one plate should be located on ocean so of course both the melting point as well as the temperature should be different so that's why plates should be settlement on uh, above the three different boundary and its causes due to earthquake of main reason of this plate tectonics so now we can see the figure of different boundary layer first one is convergent boundary second one is transformer boundary and third one and most severe effect divergent boundary convergent boundary it means one side should be different boundary layer second one plate tectonics are rest on different boundary layer so it should be try to affect different convergent boundary transformer boundary is the both the intensity of plate uh, sliding is same but in opposite direction so it creates the transform to the two state divergent boundary it means that two part should be divergent in opposite direction it is nothing but the very severe effect when this boundary form are generated below the structure so it try to uh, earthquake should be divergent boundary and it should be affect more in a structure of collapse and severe effect due to uh, our structure and building so the earthquake rocks are made in elastic material and so elastic strain energy is stored we can uh, see or describe in our first slide energy rebound theorem so same it should be applicable in rock also so made up of rock are uh, we know that elastic material and strain energy stored into them during the deformation that occur due to this tectonic plate action that occurs in earth but the material contained in a rock is also very brittle and hence the rocks along weak region of earth crust reach their strain and sudden movement it take place their opposite side so this faulting of suddenly slip and releasing the large elastic strain energy stored so in the interfaces for example energy releasing during 2001 Bhuj earthquake is about 400 times that released by the 1945 atom bomb drop on Hiroshima. So you can visualize uh, that energy store on body and how should be it should be release the energy. So uh, you can see that 2001 that very uh, high magnitude earthquake should be occurs and that re releasing energy it should be 400 times the atom bomb drop in hiroshima so you can see that effect of earthquake how it should be uh, very sensitive to our structure or you can say the humanity of uh, life in earth also so the sudden slip and fold cause the earthquake so the shaking of earth when the large elastic strain energy release spread out through the seismic wave that travels through the body along the surface of earth and then after the earthquake is over the process of strain built up in this modify intersection between after the earthquake process the rock should be start or should be gain that original position but the earth scientific know that the elastic rebound theory the material's point at the fault over which slip occurs usually constitute on three dimensional volume 
and which long dimension of a running into the tens of kilometer when the fault line should be occur. So these are the uh, three stage when elastic strain built up in a brittle lecture. Stage A, up to that limit of rope, it should be restore the energy. After then, when the saturated point are under the rocks, it start to the releasing that energy and it should be created in two different uh, form at uh, C in stage B. After the releasing of energy, it should be created in stage C. But both the position of this uh, different formation are uh, changed and then uh, change should be denoted or recorded in the terms of slip. So this elastic strain uh, aging story or strain energy principle after that stage C should be occurs. So below the stage C if the building should be located in near about our fault line then it should be very defect on building and it may be a destroy also. Now seismic wave. So there are the lots of seismic wave we can see in a first light body waves and surface wave. So the large stretch energy released during the earthquake travels on seismic wave in all directions through the earth layers. So reflecting and reacting the each interaction the waves are two types body waves and surface wave. So later are restricted to near earth surface body wave consists the primary wave and secondary wave. So there are the two types in body wave primary waves and secondary wave while the surface consists in two types love wave and religious wave. Under P waves material particles under the extension of compressor strain along the direction of energy. But under S wave oscillation of right angle to be created and L and S waves within the no vertical components are there. Hence the relative wave makes the material particle in elliptical path and the vertical plane with horizontal motion along the direction of energy. So P wave are fastest and follow the sequentially by S. So P waves are very fast then it should be sequentially by S wave then travels the S wave it should be transferred into the R wave and finally it should be transferred to the L wave. So these are the arrival of seismic wave on site. You can see the fault of uh, earthquake is denoted by EQ. After vertical position the epicenter should be different then the surface wave should be start and it should be touch of our structure then it start to the deformation during the earthquake. So these are the geotic stata when the body wave should be start and the significant effect of building. So uh, thank you friends to listening about the types of earthquake generate, how we located the earthquake, how we measure of earthquake, what is the significant effect of earthquake on buildings. Uh, thank you and subscribe my channel to getting the more lecture series related to earthquake. Thank you friends.